In this video, I'm going to show you how to view denomination and what you can expect from a 4 megapixel camera, for example, mounted at about 11 foot ceiling height. And for someone attempting to put a security camera above a cash register, what they should expect. So the distance here in between that currency on the table you see and the camera itself is about uh, 6 feet 2 inches. And right now I'm using a camera that has actually motorized zoom. With our software, you can click on the PTZ functions remotely while viewing it from a computer, either at the location or away. And I am zoomed out all the way. This is a 2.8 millimeter lens on a four megapixel camera. And I'm going to show you what is digital zoom. Here, by selecting the digital zoom icon, I can select an area on live or recorded video so this is what digital zoom is showing you that if your camera is about six feet two inches away from the currency and the currency is laying flat on a table this is what you would see now this is, these are ideal conditions of course if it's changing hands it's going to be harder to see the point to draw across here is that you can certainly kind of make out what the currency is and here the dollar bill is very easy and here you can see Andrew Jackson so you know it's a twenty dollar bill and you'll know what the denomination is so this is a 2.8 millimeter 4 megapixel camera. You certainly don't need 4K or a motorized zoom to see this far away. But if you're looking for more detail, more finer details on, let's say, currency or something else like gift cards and you're looking for numbers, then you would need either a camera to be zoomed in more or a high resolution camera perhaps as a, for example, a 8 megapixel or a 12 megapixel. Now I'm going to show you motorized zoom. What I just showed you before by using this menu it was digital zoom you can do this on live or recorded video what you can only do on live video is motorized zoom this camera happens to have a motorized zoom lens and it's zooming in it's sort of like a pair of binoculars and it's zooming in to a certain point dead center on the camera when I do this I can certainly see more detail but you can't do this on recorded video I don't even have to do digital zoom here for you to be able to see what's on here. You can even make out the serial number here. And if you want a finer detail, we can combine this motorized zoom that I just did with digital zoom and you can pick out even more detail. Most of our professional customers, what they do is they buy a camera like this that is a motorized zoom camera, install it, and then put it at the best viewing angle for their purpose. So let's say if I wanted to be able to capture everything that's on the table as best as I can with this one camera and I wanted to only capture the table itself. So what I would do is basically set my viewing angle. As you see my viewing angle becomes narrower. I can only see from this right hand side portion of the table to almost but not completely the left hand side of the table. So what I'm doing is I'm decreasing my viewing area and zooming in further to get more detail on live and recorded video. And on recorded video, I can magnify it and see better using the digital zoom that I just did here. Again, this is digital zoom and this is motorized zoom. Motorized zoom works only on live video, not on recorded video. Thanks for watching.